and you'll also have the opportunity to visit the Long Tunnel and see a replica of the Thompson machine gun used there. Barry, can you tell me what's happening here today? Well, today we're having um, a recreation of a photograph that was taken in 1940 of uh, F Company and the volunteers. So if you look around you, you can see there's re loads of relatives here of people who participated in the original photograph. Um, I don't know why they exactly choose this spot, but it's a, it, it's a beautiful place uh, to take a photograph anyway. Um, obviously we're, we're going to do it around the south side of the building and try and keep it as authentic as we could to the original photograph. Hmm. Um, so there's many first generation, second generation and third generation families coming today. Everybody here now had a relative that was in the main photograph. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you just want to smile now. Or was that a sombre one? I thought that was a smiling one. Okay, here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. As part of our launch today, I'm delighted to let you know that we have many of the descendants of these men with us here today. My name is Barry Walsh and I'm from a reenactment group called Lord Edward's Own Living History. And we do the whole history of the Irish War of Independence and Civil War. And so here today we've been invited by the OPW to put on a display of the uniforms and weapons of the period. Sure. So we have everything from the Webley revolver through the Enfield rifle and the Thompson submachine gun as well, which is famously connected to the casino here at Marino. Oh. So, so these are the kind of guns that would have been possibly in the tunnel underneath here? This is definitely the type of gun that was used in the, the tunnel here. This is the M1918 version of the Thompson submachine gun. Okay. So these were produced uh, by the Colt, machine, Colt Company in America, um, okay. designed by General Thompson, and they were financed by uh, Irish American money in the States, which was largely collected by the IRB was the secret organisation behind the Irish Republican Army. Okay. Are these like an older version of the, you know, like is a mafia film and you have the Tommy guns? Is that this is exactly the, the, the weapon that uh, the mafia would have been using. Also the police forces in America um, um, adopted them very quickly as well. But it was um, the Irish volunteers and IRA here in Ireland that were the first to use them in combat. And during the Civil War, it was the Free State Army that was the first military in the world to actually adopt them. Casino uh, itself, as, as, as many of you know, is Ireland's miniature 18th century architectural masterpiece. Designed in 1759 as a pleasure house for James Caulfield, the first Earl of Charliament. Recent research has revealed that the long tunnel at the casino was used around May of 1921 to practice firing the first two Thompson machine guns that arrived into Ireland from fundraising efforts in, in America. Two years later, during the Easter Rising, some Christian brothers novices, while exercising in the Merino grounds, were mistaken by military on the railway embankment at Fairview as revolutionaries. Three shells were fired, two falling short, and a third landed at the spot where they had been a, sec a second or two earlier, before they took cover. Apart from the machine gun practice in the casino tunnels, the grounds at Merino were frequently used by the volunteers for drilling and training exercises. The armaments were stored here as well from the Holt gun running and uh, then later um, in the War of Independence um, uh, and, and later on they would have um, tested the uh, guns and we went down to see the tunnels. It was a call out to relatives to take a photograph and they uh, did a reenactment photograph and it was a lovely occasion to meet people. We had tea and coffee and we, we uh, got to see the exhibition here as well in the casino of the marinos so okay. we're only local as well ourselves. So. Brilliant. <laughs> Sam, did you have a good day today? Yeah. Good man.